So you want to use schematics in Minecraft? That's probably why you're watching this video, right? Like Matica is a Schematica mod. It allows you to add in schematics to Minecraft. It also allows you to like copy and paste stuff really easily within your own world and export stuff from your world to schematics. Truthfully, it's an amazing schematic mod. It replaced the Schematica mod from probably nearly a decade ago now. And since then, it has been the leader of Minecraft schematic mods. So let's go ahead and get it installed. So first things first, you're gonna need to download Lightmatica. You can find this link at the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide for everything, but let's go ahead and click the download Lightmatica mod to go to the official Lightmatica download page. On this page, what you wanna do is click on files here, and then you wanna find the 1.20.1 version. So as you can see, here it is, 1.20.1. Come over and click the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download File. After a few seconds, Lightmatica will begin downloading, and while it's doing that, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, we have one-click installation of mod packs, we have plug-in support, we have mod support, like individual mods if you want to add those, and if you just want to run a vanilla server for you and your friends, you can do that as well. While you're setting up, customizing your server, adding mod packs, adding adding mods, changing things. If you have any issues, we have a help center that is high quality and truthfully got the best tutorials out there in the Minecraft hosting industry. And we've got live chat support to help you out as well. Nonetheless, if you want to start your own server, look no further than Civil Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Start your server the simple way. Nonetheless, as you can see, Lightmatica has now downloaded. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. 100% safe to do that. Lightmatica does have a compatibility mod called Molly Lib, And this is basically required to get Lightmatica everything it needs to run in Minecraft. Once you're here, this link of course is in the description. Click download Molly Lib to go to the official download page. On this page, we again want to navigate to files. We want to find that 1.20.1 version. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click download. You may need to keep or save this one as well. Once this is downloaded, there's one more thing we need. Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that allows Lightmatica to work with Minecraft. You can find the link of course in the description and this is our in-depth text guide on getting fabric. It covers a ton of stuff. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button to go to the official Fabric download page. On this page, what we want to do is make sure that we click the Download Universal Jar link. The reason we're doing that instead of for Windows is because if we download Universal Jar, it's going to work for more people, and it's also going to ensure that in the future, if you're installing other mods, Optifine, things like that, you'll be able to install them very easily. Let's go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar, and it will down the bottom left. Again, you may need to keep or save the file. And once we have done that, we can move Lightmatica, Mollylib and Fabric to our desktop. So let's go ahead and click the little Windows icon, the Start menu, open this up, type in Downloads, you have this Downloads file folder here, and in here you have Fabric, Mollylib, and of course Lightmatica. Let's move these to our desktop. Now to get started, we're actually going to be working with the Fabric file, not the mod files. We'll deal with those later. So let's go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, what you need to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Schematica is a Minecraft mod, or Lightmatica is a Minecraft mod, and this covers everything you need to know to get Java 17 for Minecraft mods. Once you have Java 17, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to link all the jar files on your computer back to Java, making them work happily together. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's get Fabric. So right-click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer, right like so. We're going to make sure 1.20.1 is selected. You want to make sure Create Profile is checked and click Install. The only reason this might not work, by the way, which you can see it's now successful for us, is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before. If that's the case, go play it without any mods, without any anything. Just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and you're good to go. You'll also want to make sure that both Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed when installing Fabric. That can also cause issues. Nevertheless, once it's successful, click OK and close out of Fabric. You can also delete Fabric from your desktop. Desktop. Now we can install our mods, Lightmatica and Mollylib, because it is required for Lightmatica. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and before you hit play, don't hit play, we need to make sure that you have Fabric. And even if you do have Fabric, don't click play. Fabric mods aren't installed via in-game, they're installed using the Minecraft launcher in a way, so I'm going to make sure just you don't click play, because otherwise you're going to have to close out of Minecraft to get these mods installed. So nevertheless, we have Fabric Loader right away. Selected, it says 1.20.1. We're good. But if you don't have this, click on installations up at the top. And even if you do, by the way, click on installations up here at the top. 
Then you want to make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, we unselect modded, fabric disappears. We check modded, fabric reappears. So there we go. And if you still don't have fabric, go ahead and click new installations. You can name a server you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to start your very own Minecraft server. And then we want to go ahead and click the version drop down box. In this, we want to select release fabric loader 1.20.1. Right here it is for me, right up at the top. You may need to scroll ways to find it for you, but for me, it's at the top. Then we want to change our resolution. I'm assuming that so you can see later on in game. You don't have to. Now click create. Now, no matter what, on the installations tab, what we want to do is hover over our fabric installation, whether that's the one that's there by default or the one you created. It doesn't matter which. Hover over it and click the folder icon. This is going to open up your .minecraft folder. In here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, if you don't have a mods folder, neither do I. So just right click and create a new folder and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder and drag and drop Lightmatica and Molly Lib into the mods folder, right like so. When you open the mods folder, they should be there. Now, come back to the Minecraft launcher and play Minecraft, either with the installation that was already there, the fabric loader here, or the simple game hosting one that we created. Doesn't matter. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up with Lightmatica installed. We'll see you on the main menu just to show you that things are working. So I decided to skip the main menu and just launch in game because there's no way to see Lightmatica's working from the main menu. But if we go ahead and hit M on our keyboard, that pulls up the Lightmatica menu here. This is everything that you need to know about Lightmatica in Minecraft. It's, it's all here. However, this isn't that guide. It's not a guide that's going to show you everything. What is, though, is this. In the description down below, an in-depth guide on specifically how to use Lightmatica. Over 158,000 views, it covers everything you need to know, and it will show you how to use schematics, how to copy, how to paste, how to do everything that you need to know with Lightmatica. This covers it all. Nevertheless, though, that is how you can download and install Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.20.1. Let us know if you've got any questions in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.